Good morning. How's everybody doing? Happy Father's Day um, to everyone's fathers. Um, today, I'm excited because we are finally going to be doing a tutorial. Ooh, I've seen everybody create their looks and I'm like, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. And I would have done a look last weekend, but I went away for the weekend, so you know, I couldn't film those uh, with family. But I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm I'm over the moon for this. I just I hope you guys can see the palette. I mean, you guys have already seen so many tutorials. So now I'm gonna finally put my spin on the new Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette. Um, I did a review in Swatches video, so you need to go check that out if you wanna see swatches. But now we're just gonna see the palette in action. So if you really wanna see me create a look using this palette, then don't go nowhere, just keep on watching. Okay. So so, I'm going to show you guys this. This is like a plethora of brushes that I just recently purchased. Um, there's a few in here that I've already used. And there, there's a couple of old staples. So, these are refer brushes. Oh no, this is a Sonya G brush. These are the refer brushes and I actually want to do a video on these. Um, I'm not going to go into details, but I bought a good amount of these brushes um, for 50% off, but I'm not going to go into detail, like I said, because I want to kind of do a video on these brushes. But yeah, I'm going to be using um, a lot of these. I've already used these two, and I love these two. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get a review up on these brushes soon. And I also ordered some brushes from Color Du Jour. I don't know if you guys know her. She is a makeup artist in Houston, Texas. Love her. You guys, if you're not following her on Instagram, you should be. Um, she has brushes. She has a brush line. And I ordered some from her. Um, I think I had a... Oh, actually, I had another one here from her. So, I think I have another brush somewhere from her. I think it might be in the drawer. But yeah, poor black owned businesses. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be doing, a, dedicating a separate video about brushes in the near future. But we're not here to talk about brushes. We're here to talk about Pat McGrath. But I wanted to mention them because I'm going to be using a lot of them today. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to prime my lips, um, of course, with my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I use it all the time. This is like actually the third time today that I've put it on. And if you guys hear a noise in the background, that's my air conditioning on. It's so hot that I had to turn it on. I may turn it off a little bit later, but once it cools down in here, then I'll turn it off. Sit. Okay, so I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer, the Eye and Lip Primer. Shake it up a little bit. I'm almost done with this one. So, uh, somebody had asked me about the Anastasia Primer and my thoughts. Um, I've only used it once. My mirror over here, so I can see. So, um. Based on that one time, and I believe I used it in my last tutorial, or with the Huda Beauty. With the Huda Beauty, um, and I used the Huda Beauty shadows. So, if, oops, sorry. Um, and just that one time so far, it wasn't bad. My eyeshadows lasted pretty good, but I want to give it a couple more um, work tests before I can give like my absolute honest opinion. Okay, 
So we got the eye primed here. Now, generally, I, would, I do a secondary base, and I'm actually going to, but I'm not going to do that yet. Yet. So we're going to go into the palette. Now, I need, I need the names here because, again, like I had said, um, dropping stuff. Like I had said in my uh, review and swatch. I don't like having the names of these on um, like the paper. I wish somehow she'll get to the point where she can put them on the palette. Even if she puts it on the back, but this is like annoying. It's like you have to keep it. So I'm gonna go into Naked Naked Blush. That's that's it. Yeah. And oops, we're gonna use that. Ooh, kicks up. here 
the center. I'm just going to twirl it, pop it right in the center. So, you know how I am. I like to smoke everything out. I like to smoke everything out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Refer 01 and I'm going to take Extreme Burgundy, which is this beautiful matte burgundy. And... I'm just going to keep it right here on the end. I'm going to focus it right here on this end. Just right here on this end. I'm going to focus it right here. I'm just going to. Oh. Girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, honey. Okay guys, so this is what we got. I'm gonna take the shader brush again. I'm gonna use the other side of the brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend between the burgundy and the eleganza just so it's seamless. Just lightly blend it. Just lightly, just lightly. Okay, so I'm gonna take a refer number 16 and I'm not gonna put any product. I'm just gonna blend everything in the crease. I'm just gonna blend it all because yeah, that's just how I do. Because you know I am, well I am not the queen of blending. And I learned from the best. She was one of my, she was one of the reasons, well she was one of the YouTube's from the YouTube days of how I learned how to actually do eyeshadows, learn how to pair the colors. Her vintage tacky. There weren't too many black YouTubers on like 10 years ago. So them two I, I credit with like me learning how to perfect my eye makeup. I miss both of them. I know Tacky. I think she just goes by Cora now on her channel. She she comes on every now and then, but, <sighs> but Queen of Blending, she won't be on here at all. all right. So yes, girls, yes, sirs. I'm going to close that up now. This is what we have for I love. So I'm going to do my brows, liner, and my lashes, and then we're going to come back for the face. Okay guys, so I am back. So I have put on my lashes, my liner, and I did my brows. And y'all, this is Divine Rose too. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to, trying to think about what I'm going to do after the fact. Definitely want to do what is it called? VR Sextra Terrestrial. Did I say it right? VR Sextra Terrestrial. Yeah, I did say it right. So, definitely want to play around in that on the next go round. But this here is fire. And I, you know, use this MAC fluid line to kind of deepen it up. And I don't know if you can see, but it's burning, but it had flecks of glitter in it, which. Jesus! So I did like a smoky burgundy eye, kind of smoky. Oh, and this ele that eleganza, this eleganza, like that is like a pretty purple pink, like a 
pink with a nice purple undertone. It is so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. And the Divine Dusk. Definitely like that. It's like kind of a base for the um, Eleganza. And this Extreme Burgundy. Now, I am going to put in an inner tear duct color, but I'm going to wait till after I do my foundation to do that. But. All right, let me stop talking. Um, I am going to pause here and I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to do my face. So I will come back to you so we can do the lips together, okay? Okay, lovelies. Now that the face is finito, we're gonna do the lips. Y'all, before I talk about the lips, this brush, this is the Color Du Jour 125. <sighs> Y'all gotta check out her website. Follow her on Instagram. I think the link to her website is in her Instagram. Um, I'll put the information for her Instagram down below, but this is my new favorite powder brush. You know, you, you, as you saw, I used it for bronzer. I used it for powder. The, when I powdered after I set my foundation in a con cream contour, then I used it for the bronzer. Then I used it for the all over translucent powder. Ma'am, the way this brush feels, like, and just how it applies. The girl, go ahead, go ahead, girl, go hit. Okay, go hit. Okay, so before we do the lips, I didn't put the Bite Beauty, I mean the, yeah, the Bite Beauty Agave lip mask on like three times today. I had some tea, so, you know, go off a little bit. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the, it's the Lip Contour, Lip and Define Lip Primer Base Contour um, for the lips. I like this. And this also... Well, it let it stay in place for a while. On, let it sit for like a minute. And then we're going to get started with the lips. Okay, so my camera cut off. So, this is what we got so far. Um, I had to go in with Vino. And I kind of went over my entire lip. And then I, cause this one is not, it did, it like, here, let's, let's, let me show you. So if you remember from my swatch video, I swatched it, so it gave me this. So I was like, okay. So when I put it on now, but it appeared lighter than this. So didn't work out that well as I wanted it. So whatever, you know, the lipstick, I like, I like, I like, I like. This is pretty. This is pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> pretty. And we're going to go in with the Divine Rose Lust Gloss. Yes. Lip gloss, yeah. Now, these do, this, this, these do. This lip gloss does have a little bit of glitter in it, but it's not that much. I like this. Oh, yeah, girl. This is what I'm going for. Woo. Oh, I love it. And I love the way they smell. Y'all know I got to think about lip glosses and how they smell. Woo. I like it. I like okay so before I forget I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to just take uh, what's I don't know what the name of this is I have to consult the this is show shine show rose opal so it's this color here and we gonna put it right in here Pretty though. And to 
close off the look. I'm gonna set our face in my light just like went down. Okay guys, I'm back um, and here is the final look. So I had to actually go over my lips a little bit more with the lip pencil because I really didn't feel, like I liked how the lip was but it wasn't really the way I wanted it. So I just had to deepen up around um, the perimeters of my lips with my Vino lip liner and then I just added a little bit more gloss. Can I tell you, I love Pat McGrath's lip, lip glosses and now I'm not as skeptical about wearing lip gloss with glitter because even though, and I'm looking in the mirror because even though you could see the flecks of glitter in the gloss, it doesn't really show up on your lips. And if it's, if it's there, you can't even see it and, and they feel so good. Oh, this is my second lip gloss. I'm going to buy more lip glosses from her. This, I could have not used the lipstick, um, but, you know, I wanted to get the full effect. And I like, I wanted to get the, I can't talk, y'all. I'm hungry now. I'm about to go make some tacos. I wanted to get the full effect of the formula for the matte trance, um, I don't know how much of the I can get because you know I did put gloss on it but they feel pretty good they're not um, drying or anything um, so maybe one day um, I'll just like wear it for like an hour or so just like so to see how it feels by itself um, but I like the Pat McGrath lipsticks now I have four in my collection um, had one from back in the day it was a Lux Trance I bought it this last VIB with the VIB after, or a couple of VIBs ago, and that is a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. It's a Luxe Trance. This is a matte trance. But the lip glosses, now if I had to choose between the lipsticks and the lip glosses, I mean, I have four for lipsticks now, but I probably would choose the lip glosses because this here, you know, again, the only thing with Pat McGrath is her price range, but when she gives a good sale on her website you can get it discounted I only was able to get the 10% off that she was offering um, for the launch but and then the other gloss I had I think I got it from Sephora during the VIB so and then the other gloss that I got I got it during a VIB sale and I believe it was in November past November so love it love it love it love it and I did use the concealer as you saw I used it all over normally I would use two concealers but I'm testing this out um I like the way it feels it's very full coverage very full coverage um I use my matte velvet skin um foundations Honestly, I wish they never changed the formula of this foundation. I mean, I like it. I love it still, but I miss the old matte skin, matte velvet. I don't even matte velvet, matte skin. I miss the old matte velvet um, foundation. I really do, because it gave you more of an airbrush effect. Like, I don't have an airbrush effect right now, but it's okay. Now, let's talk about the bronzer. I don't even have to tell you, you guys saw it. This is why I love this bronzer so much. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. And what I will say to you guys that I did not do and that I didn't realize until after I finished everything, I didn't put on any highlighter. Why? Why did I not put on highlighter? It's okay. It's still pretty and it's still glowy. Um, he's Max Stubborn. Um, how, you, how you gonna put on highlight? I was going to take Eleganza and put it across my cheek, but I guess part, I guess part of the reason is like, no, you don't need that. 
I still need to highlight I feel, but it's okay. Let's talk about Devon Rose, too. I love it. And that's all you gotta know. I love it. I love how this look came out. Um, I'm glad that I used this fluid line to kind of deepen it up because, you know, after watching so many videos and seeing how so many people were doing on their looks, I was like, I want to do it, but I want it deep, deep. And when I looked through my collection, I was like, yes, forgot how good MAC fluid lines can be as a base. So I'll tell y'all, do not sleep on MAC now. Do not sleep on MAC. MAC is still relevant as far as I'm concerned. They're not as relevant, but they're still relevant. Definitely going to do another tutorial using this. I use, today I use one, two, three, four, five colors. We, I'm going to try to figure out what else I'm going to do with this. Definitely have to use the VR sex sex her rest real if that's how you say it but yes I am in love and I'm doing too much talking and I'm gonna stop um thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for everyone that's here and that's the phone ringing of course anyway you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video bye